What's up everybody, AZ Gear Guy here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Join me on my YouTube journey. I'd love to have you along for the ride and it's gonna be a good one. Keep in mind, I make a new video every week. So I seem to be on kind of a backpack kick lately and I figured why not review another backpack for you guys. If you missed last week's video, I did a review of my backpack from 3V Gear. It's the Outlaw 2 and I'll leave that link right here. As you saw in the intro of this video, I will be reviewing today the Vertex Commuter Sling 2.0. Vertex, I'm sure you've heard of the name. You've probably heard about it on Instagram or Facebook, pretty much from any big name. Uh, and so I'm just adding to the clutter and reviewing this backpack for you. But keep in mind, these are my impressions. Just like any other video that I've done before, these are strictly my impressions and just overall pros and cons and opinions about this bag. The commuter sling is one of a few sling type bags that Vertex offers on their line of backpacks. This is the mid-range bag that is between the larger gamut bag and the smaller transit bag. I chose this bag because it's kind of in the range of the size that I need and kind of has the capacity to carry the things that I carry on a daily basis. If you want to check out this bag or any other Vertex bag, I'll leave a link to Amazon and their website. Um, so be sure to check those out. Those Amazon links are affiliate links and I do get a small commission from those links. So if you use them, it does help the channel kind of grow and it also allows me to do more gear videos for you guys. I was originally drawn to this bag because of the size, as I mentioned before, but also just the amazing features that Vertex always adds to their products. One of the first features that I really love about this bag is that it doesn't scream tactical. You know, you get a lot of bags out there that have a lot of molly webbing or Velcro or whatever, um, color schemes, you know, or, you know, camo. And I like that, but I don't always like that. What I mean by that is I like that this bag is very subtle in its design looks like a simple backpack you can get from Walmart. Um, definitely not Walmart quality though. It's a backpack that I'm comfortable carrying to work, to school, to the gym, whatever I, I do on a daily basis. On previous models of this bag, you see a lot of branding on their bag. You know, you'd see their, their name posted pretty much anywhere on this bag. I think with the 2.0 bag, they've kind of removed a lot of their branding and just kind of made simple little changes only those that know of the brand will recognize. So concerning the branding here, um, you'll see a little bit of their branding. You know, occasionally you'll see, you know, their symbol that's right here. And then you'll see that big Vertex X right here on the back panel. It's very comfortable if you ask me. So on the strap here, you get a lot of room to hang different things. Like you could probably see right here, the Molly webbing that you'll uh, be able to, you know, strap flashlights, knives, whatever. Um, and then you get this little tiny Velcro piece that you can hang either keys or whatever you'd like to, to hang on right in front of your body. I like how the strap fits comfortably across the body and it's pretty thick. So it allows me to, you know, feel comfortable and um, just not worry about, you know, it cutting into my chest a little bit. What I also like too is the fact that it has an additional strap and let me grab that for you that comes up like with any other sling bag. You can adjust it so that you can pull this all the way up here. And it basically adds another point of contact for you. So you get one, two, three points of contact on your body and you're able to, with a sling bag, secure it a little bit more. So whenever I bend over, it's not gonna flip over. It's gonna be retained on my waist. Also with this third strap here, I'm sorry that I'm wearing a black shirt and just kind of blends in a little bit. Um, you get a good even weight distribution with the pack too, especially when you're carrying some heavy things like a laptop or firearm, whatever. For me, sling bags tend to be my go-to because I really like the fact that, especially with this bag, I can pretty much access my bag very quickly and I can bring it in front of my body really quick and everything is just in this vicinity. Um, I can just reach in really quick and grab my notebook, grab my laptop, grab whatever accessory that I'm carrying that day. I also like that this bag has some pretty beefy straps. So you can see that right there. I like this on sling bags because if I ever need to get out of my bag quickly, I can just release it like so. This is kind of nice because I can just drop it if I need to. The front of the bag actually has a pretty cool compartment here and let me show you what it does. So this front compartment right here is pretty neat because first off, it's got two zippers right here that you can 
um, easily access and you know open up. But the cool feature about this compartment right here is that it has two little snaps right here that um, you can hook up and it's kind of an added security measure that Vertex included with their bag. For example, if somebody wants to open this really quick, they're not gonna be able to because those snaps are in place. I mean, they'll be able, it, it, they're not gonna have time to reach into your bag. It's gonna be one of those things where they're trying to rip it open and they can't because you have these two buckles latched on. So in order to get that open, you just unbutton them here and they're pretty sturdy buttons. I mean, you have to really push on them to get them on. So make sure you do that when, when you do engage them. But once you open this up, um, and you're gonna see a few things in here. Uh, you're gonna see some molly webbing. And as you can see, I have you know a patch here because it's it is Velcro. And then I have a couple knives and uh, one of my flashlights. I really like this because you know I like to carry multiple types of knives. Um, here's my a thin knife. Maybe if I just don't have pockets to put them in or something like that. Say I'm going to the gym. I can use this pocket right here to put my knives on and not have to worry about it. Another cool thing about this uh, pocket here is the fact that it's got another secret compartment that you can actually open that's velcro right here. And if you're traveling, this is a really good pocket because you can put your passport right inside it or cash or other documents that you may need as you're you know, traveling that you don't want easy access to, even for yourself. Additionally, you can actually take this portion the flat part of the backpack. And what's really neat is that in this secret compartment, you can actually just jet that right up into the pack, into that compartment right there. And then you can add this Velcro. There's another uh, hook portion of the Velcro and you can actually seal it shut just like that. And so that whole portion becomes the front of the pack. I don't really think I'd use that because then it kind of defeats that purpose of me trying to be covert about what I carry in my bag. but. I mean, if you want to do that, you can. And another cool thing about this bag, and mind you, I just recently got this bag, so a lot of this hasn't been unhooked or anything like that, but I do know a lot about it. Um, and so this bag has some hooks on here, some straps that are on the inside of this, this flap right here. You can unhook them here and spread them out. On the front here, you'll notice that there's like a little, a little web here, and that's uh, basically so you can use this as kind of an added storage measure. So you can pull this off, pull it open, and then hook that on the side of the bag right here. And this kind of becomes a makeshift, you know, helmet holder, another bulky item that maybe uh, you don't want to carry around. You can just stuff it right here and hook, you can hook this side and the other side here and stuff that right here. So the second portion of this bag, the second compartment, I mean, uh, is probably the bulk of where I put most of my stuff. It's the area that I probably carry the majority of what I use on a daily basis. And let me show you what's inside. So I really like that a lot of Vertex's bags, their compartments don't actually open all the way. Um, you actually get this webbing that keeps it from flying open. So if you, when you have it strapped on and you have this right in front of your body, you can just, like I said before, you can actually just reach in and grab all of your stuff. For me, um, I actually, just for a demonstration purposes, I have ear protection that um, I was actually just using yesterday. And I actually carry a couple other things here. So you, there's, there's some space right here for some pens. Um, and you know, just other, you know, you can put for a utility knife or whatever. And then here is just kind of this, this lined pocket that I keep my external hard drive in, but you can use it for pretty much anything. And the, another neat thing about this little pocket is that it has a little, uh, hook right here that you can put maybe another set of keys or whatever you want inside. The reason why I chose this bag is because um, it actually has room for a 15 inch laptop. You can see that it has a nice hook here that you can secure it down and not have to worry about it flopping, you know, side to side, up and down as you're walking or doing whatever. You can unlatch it right here and then just pull that right out. One very subtle thing that people don't tend to talk about with these bags is the fact that, you know, since the backpack is black and then when you open it up, it has, you know, this light tan interior. And that's a nice feature because when you have a light interior and, you know, dark tools, like my flashlight's black, my knives are black, 
finding that in a black interior backpack is not fun, but finding it in this is actually not bad at all. So as we're on the topic of compartments with this bag, it brings me to the next compartment and also my favorite compartment on the whole bag. So you'll see on the back side of the bag is this grab handle right here. And when I have it on, it's right here. So you'll be able to grab it right about here. And Vertex has designed it to function as both a grab handle and a zipper. And while we're on the topic of zippers, I think a really cool thing about this bag is that the concealed carry pocket with the uh, strap there, you'll get these little eyelets on the zippers that, you know, when you zip them, you can separate them. But then when you bring them together, right there, you can actually put a lock right in there. So you can actually lock up your firearm in your backpack. Um, and I think that's kind of a nice little detail that I actually didn't notice before until a couple days ago. And I was like, what is that for? Oh, it's probably for a lock. So I can pull it up here, open it up, and then it reveals the concealed carry pocket. As you open the concealed carry pocket, it actually has these straps to keep it from completely opening and pretty much revealing everything that you have in the bag. So you can actually pull the, the clips off like that and then just slide that off and inside you can see that I have a stock Glock 19 with a Inforce APLC in a QVO tactical wingman with a velcro backed holster and that's nice because this is all American made velcro and then I, what I do is I just stick the the firearm right there and it's good to go. And so when I, I'm able to open it, I'm able to pull it out and be good to go. Vertex also makes different attachments to where you can put um, Velcro mag holders right there. I don't actually have that because I just don't need them right this minute, but for demonstration purposes, this is a good way to carry concealed. So as you saw in the intro of this video, you could see the way I was able to sling the bag around, pull it out, open it up, reach in, and be ready. An additional feature about the concealed carry compartment is actually this other portion that I'll actually open up the bag a little bit more for. Additionally right here, along with your firearm, there's a little compartment right here that you can actually put a piece of armor on the inside of your bag. Considering you know the, the climate with, uh, with things going on right now, Vertex was smart to put something like that in, especially if you find yourself, and I hope you don't, in a situation where you need to use your firearm uh, and you have that added protection by adding some backpack armor into this bag. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's actually a feature on this back portion of the bag where you see the logo. Uh, there's actually a little, like a strap that you can slip your arm through. I mean, let's put it on this arm, this arm here. And if you have a backpack panel, like a like an armor panel, inside the bag, you can use this as a shield. So if that's something you didn't know about this bag, now you know. An additional thing that I really like about this bag is the fact that it has a vertical grab handle. Um, and that's nice, you know, because it's almost suitcase style where I can just pick it up and, and go. Overall, I think this bag is a pretty awesome value for the money. I think that if you're looking for something that is overall just a great, you know, everyday carry backpack that you can conceal comfortably, that you can have your laptop, that you can have, you can have all of your work items contained within it, I think it's right for you. As a reminder, I went ahead and placed links in the description below, so be sure to check those out. Hopefully this video helped you out in some way or another, determine whether or not this bag could work for you. And if you have any questions regarding this bag or any other EDC item that may be related to this bag, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have or any concerns that uh, may come up in the duration of this video. If you like this video, leave a like down below. It really helps the channel grow and it helps this video get seen by a lot of other people that may be looking for backpacks like this. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.